So I'm Dr. David Wilson from the University of Adelaide. I've been working with John Willison um, on models of engaged learning and teaching. And I always find that even using something like MELT as an acronym immediately gets staff, colleagues, uh, students. What is he talking about? So I like to actually break it down and actually talk about models of engaged learning and teaching. Very briefly, I want to share uh, the concept. Better engage students with the purpose of their assessment and also to engage them in listening to uh, the value of instruction and following instruction on a particular assessment. The assessment that I was setting was a written literature review, about a 1,500 word uh, document. So what I'd asked them to do was look at a rubric and I was finding that even if I went through the rubric with explain everything and I told them, you know, follow this, I've written it here, but this is what this means, I was still getting students that were not actually being able to achieve those goals. And so then I went to the RSD framework thinking that that was better than this traditional rubric that I was using. And I brought the RSD framework and I set them side by side and I went, okay. And I asked students, did you understand what we were trying to achieve? No, too complex. And then I remembered John telling me a story about his work with some engineering students. I thought, well, how am I going to be able to do this? So I ran actually a workshop with students, uh, got them in a room, and we did some group work. And the first thing I did was I started writing on the board, and I, I said to the students, I said, look, um, why are we doing this assessment? What's the value in being able to do this? How are you going to sell it and sell yourself to an employer? Um, why is it important? And so I said, these are the kinds of things that I would actually say about you all right, um, in a letter of reference. And they align with elements of the rubric and not so much my original rubric, but the RSD framework. And then I was finding that students were struggling with, well, what's alacrity mean and so forth. And then I asked the students to take these phrases and the Pentagon, which talks about evaluation. It's a, a simplified version of the RSD framework. And so then take these phrases, the original rubric, the RSD, and in groups try and interpret that or reimagine the language that they would use to describe it. And so what ended up happening is the students actually came up with this. All right, so that's their own language. It's a little longer, and the feedback I got from students was actually quite surprising. And it basically sums, came down to this. It was oh my gosh, this is the f first time I've, and this is a third year subject, all right? This is the first time I've actually started an assessment um, knowing how to do it, and more importantly, why it's important to do it correctly. And that sort of got me, when I hear that kind of feedback uh, from students, not just one, um, but many, and that's the kind of thing that makes you um, pursue these unusual approaches uh, getting the students engaged in those processes. Is it easy? No. Uh, the reality is when I started doing it, I think some of the students were not clear that I had a good idea of what I wanted from it. I had a crystal clear idea, but it, I actually had to break it down so that it actually became an evolution. All right, And you can do that when you get their feedback their words, their language, and you can reshape and modify it to get you to the end point. It's just now they understand it. All right, so that's the approach I've taken. Pretty simple. Traditional rubric, all right, RSD framework, recognizing that sometimes the, the language is too difficult, then making use of John's pe Pentagon, then bringing students in, the entire cohort, running a workshop, and distilling the elements of the Pentagon aligned with things that I would say... Um, about them in an assessment, in, in a, a letter of reference. So the third year subject, really quite useful to be able to do that. If it was a clinical placement, I think you could do the similar things very easily. Uh, key competencies, you've got these key competencies, you've just identified that you've got autonomy. So I hope this approach has been useful uh, and informative.